In this video, let's compare the performance between QQQ and TQQQ. This is the official website of TQQQ. This fund is three times the daily performance of NASDAQ 100 index. That is three times of QQQ. This is trading view. The left side is QQQ's daily chart. The right side is TQQQ's daily chart. If we check the daily performance here, it's minus 0.3% today. On the right side, you can see today's daily performance is minus 0.89%. So TQQQ is three times the daily performance of QQQ. As this fund was created in 2010, we don't have enough data. The first step is to download the historical data of QQQ. I have downloaded the data into the Excel sheet. Assume that we invested $10,000 in QQQ in 1999 on this date. Assume that we also invested $10,000 in TQQQ, and we can draw the chart and compare these two, QQQ and TQQQ. So if we draw the chart here, the blue line is TQQQ, the green line is QQQ. If we invested $10,000 in both of them, the blue line increased a lot from 10,000 to 77,000. That was seven times gain. But in 2000, it dropped from 77,000 to the bottom 47 in 2002. That is 99.94% loss. Would you be able to tolerate such huge loss? I think many people would have been afraid and would have sold their positions of TQQQ if TQQQ had existed at that time. If we had invested $10,000 in both QQQ and TQQQ at that time, TQQQ is still behind QQQ. It has not reached its highest peak yet. So the highest peak was 77,000. The current value is just 24,000. It is just 30% of its highest peak. But if we invest it in QQQ, we can see that it is already three times more. If you hold QQQ as a long-term investment, you have already gained a lot. One thing to pay attention to is that we can see that the lowest point of QQQ in 2008 is higher than that in 2002. It means that in the six years, QQQ has gained about 20%. If we check TQQQ here, the lowest point was 47. The lowest point here was 33. If we had holded TQQQ in the six years from 2003 to 2009, we would have lost 30%. So in the huge upturn and downturn, the leveraged ETF can suffer a huge loss, while the regular ETF can still maintain a good performance. So this is what we need to consider when we invest in leveraged ETF. If you like this video, remember to click the like button and subscribe.